Hey everyone! I know it's been a really long time since I've kind of vlogged. It's, you know, I make an excuse every single time that it's just crazy busy and all that, but um, it really has been crazy busy. Um, I don't really have any other excuse besides work and the kids and, you know, just trying to stay on top of things. So, um, the kids just turned 20 months, so I'll update on them first. They are fantastic. Um, I don't know any other word to describe it. Um, they're thriving and they're growing and they're healthy. Um, the only thing that we don't do is we don't really talk. So we started, um, or we're starting speech therapy for both of them. Um, but they're so ridiculously smart outside of speaking. So they're great sleepers. Um, we nap really well. We nap in our cribs. We sleep through the night in our cribs. They go to bed about between 7.30 and 8 and they sleep until between 6 and 6.30, sometimes a little bit earlier and the latest they've ever slept is 6.40. Um, they are giving me kind of a hard time eating lately, just um, being really picky with what they want to eat, not eating really fruits and veggies. Some days Ella just picks out all of her chicken. So, you know, we're just trying to um, kind of go through it and not make a big deal about it. Um, the funny thing is, is the two of them will eat off of our plates, whatever it is. But if it's put in front of them, they have, they're pickier, but, um, they play outside, they play in the water. We go to splash pad in the fall. We'll probably do swim lessons. Um, we joined our local YMCA, um, which is a gym with a pool and all that stuff. So we joined that. So we'll do that this fall once things kind of come down and hopefully things will be a little different than they are now. Um, I am still working. I work uh, part time for um, for the most part. I mean, I work anywhere between eight to thirty two hours a week. Um, most of the time, I'm averaging between twenty four and twenty eight hours. Um, it's probably my average. Uh, I do work evenings, so I work opposite still of my husband. My husband works. He's gone 14 hours a day. It's crazy. His schedule is insane. It's going to change even more. It's just, it's made our life really, really, really difficult and really complicated. Um, we've had a lot of difficulties in our marriage because of it. It's reflecting on the kids because of it, and the job is just not working for our family. That's really plain and simple. All I can tell you is it's just not working and we're trying to find a way to fix it um, and remedy the situation. And, you know, we've talked about me going back to work and like, I want to go back to work, but I love, I absolutely um, just love staying home with the kids. And I just feel like I'm not ready to go back to work full time. Um, so yeah, that's been crazy. Um, we haven't really done anything. We went camping with the kids and that was crazy exhausting. Um, we're going camping with them again soon. Um, they went to the beach, the ocean for the first time we went up to, um, it's like my secret hiding place in Maine. Um, I love going to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. If you ever visit New England, Portsmouth, New Hampshire is like the cutest town ever. Amazing food. Um, I love it up there. It's very like, um, reedy, like, I don't know, like artsy, nerdy type of place, but it's, it's beautiful. And, um, so we hopped over, there's outlet malls in Kittery, Maine and, um, York, Maine isn't that far from there either. And there's some great beaches and the lighthouse there. Um, and then there's like this little beach that, um, I think my parents found, like, I want to say like 12 years ago and there's like no one on it and it's fantastic. So the kids went, they went in the ocean for the first time. They absolutely loved it. Um, it was fantastic. Um, we went up for it to celebrate our five year anniversary. Our five year anniversary was in June. Um, it was 11 days ago, um, actually June 17th. Um, so we went up and that's kind of our thing. We always go to Portsmouth. The only year we haven't done it was last year because the babies were, um, kind of, they weren't small, but like, it was just going to be too much to try and drive all the way up there. So we ended up going somewhere a little bit closer, um, to home. And, um, what else have we done? We go to the park all the time. We joined the library in like March or something. So we did the library once a week, which they absolutely love. So we'll do that in the fall again. 
um, I joined a twin moms group, um, which is kind of crazy. I never thought I would actually do it, but, um, a friend of mine who just had twins convinced me to join. So I went to like the first meeting and, um, they have kind of have like the summer off and then they go back into meetings in September. So I'm really excited because I feel like I've lost a lot of friends, um, since having the kids, which is weird. Cause I thought having kids would bring me closer to my friends that had kids, but in a way it's just kind of separated us because, um, a lot of them don't understand what it's like to have two babies the same age. And, um, I can't do a lot of the things that they can do with one baby. And I'm on my own a lot and I'm exhausted and I work and it's just kind of created a separation between like some of my friends and I, and we just haven't really seen each other at all. Um, they've kind of just walked out of my life and I'm okay with that. Honestly, I mean, it's me and the kids and I love, I love being a mom. And honestly, if you don't want to be involved in my life, I'm fine with that. Walk away because it's not worth fighting over. So, you know, I've been dealing with kind of internal emotion about being kind of alone all the time. I have a couple really amazing, amazing friends and we hang out all the time. Um, but I kind of miss that network that I had when I was trying to conceive. A lot of it was you guys or um, via Instagram or Facebook or I just felt like I had a lot of really great online friends and I felt like I was a, involved in a community. And that's what I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to get from the twin group thing. It's a national thing. It's like a sorority. It's like crazy. Um, but I had an amazing, amazing first time. I met some amazing women. I got some great tips and I shared some of mine and it was just fantastic. It was, it was a really, really, really good night. So, um, that happened. Um, as far as my health goes, I know I like mentioned it, I think the last time I updated, um, cause it's been six months since everything started. Um, so back in January, I started with chest pain. They thought I had pancreatitis. I ended up having really high liver enzymes. So they did a whole bunch more testing. I went and saw a couple specialists. They did more testings. They freaked out that I had this rare genetic disorder called Wilson's disease, which means I have too much copper. Every other test came out fine, but this seroplasm levels lower than normal and it keeps dropping. But I went and saw another specialist in Boston and he doesn't think it's Wilson's disease. Um, and my, my GI doctor didn't necessarily think it was, it just was a flag because of how my blood work was coming back. Um, so when I went and saw the guy in Boston, he actually said, um, you know, officially diagnosed me with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and two things, um, where we think it came from one, I have PCOS, um, which is a huge, there's a huge, huge, huge link between PCOS and suffers in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, did tons of research. He's one, you know, he, he, he he even said that's a huge reason why it could be happening. The other kind of thing that probably didn't help the situation is the amount of, um, hormonal drugs I was on for IVF. The fact that I had medical med medicated cycles for three years, I pretty much haven't had a cycle on my own. Um, oh my God, we got married in 2011. So six years five years, I've not had a cycle on my own and that doesn't help. And, um, I've always had to like induce it with, um, you know, medication to get a cycle going or whatever. So they had put me on metformin for the PCOS and I got violently ill from it. But before they put me on metformin, I did all this research and actually found that this, um, supplement called in I'm never going to pronounce it right. Inositol, inositol, I can't, it's I-N-O-S-I-T-O-L or something like that. Anyways, um, that it's similar reaction, um, to my body as metformin would do, but without the side effects. So I actually started that on my own about like a month and a half before they prescribed me the metformin. Lo and behold, the week that I got the prescription for the metformin, I got my first cycle first cycle since having the kids on my own, nothing. It was, it was crazy. I had like 
major cramping. I thought I was something was wrong, and I ended up just starting my period. Um, and 35 days later, I had my second cycle. So this is the first time, like, in I can't even count how many years I've had two cycles back to back with no medication. Um, I feel amazing. Um, it's crazy that it's this, whatever I'm taking, obviously is the only thing I've changed besides, um, I, you know, I'm still working out. I just, you know, I go every Sunday, but other than that, I mean, I'm pretty much doing the same amount of workout that I was doing before. So, um, I'm really excited. Um, you know, once I have a third cycle, I'll be like, good. Yay. So having a cycle back has brought up the whole, do we want to have any more kids? And, um, I don't know. I just, I, I really want to be pregnant again and I really want to experience that. And I want to, I want to be able to almost experience labor, even though I know I'll probably have to have a C-section just because of the complications I had the first time around. But, um, I really want to be pregnant again. And my husband is, I mean, I feel the same way. Like I love my kids so incredibly much. Um, they're my whole world. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, and I don't know, some days I don't think, I think our family is complete. And then, because, you know, having two is kind of easy. Having three, having a family of five isn't always easy. I mean, I come from a family of five. I'm one of three. And, you know, you always have to add a chair when you go out to eat or, you know, stupid things like that. But, um, I don't know. I just, we go back and forth. So we're both on the same page that we're not trying, but we're not, um, preventing if it was going to happen. So if it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, I'm good. I still really have a lot of weight to lose. Um, cause I did gain 50 pounds in four months after having the kids, um, from the PCOS, all this crap, but it's coming off and I feel I'm fitting into clothes finally. And it's, it's dwindling. And, um, you know, we're getting there. Um, I also turned 30 in September and the twins turned two in October. So I just feel like it's time. I don't know if you really want to have one, we should have one. Um, I feel like if we wait any longer, it's going to be too, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'd go through treatments again. Um, I don't know if I know our insurance doesn't cover IVF currently. So if Sean got a different job and we get a different insurance, you know, that could change the whole story. But, um, so we'd have to do IUIs and there's, I mean, I did IUIs forever and none of them worked. So, um, I just think it's a huge freaking success that I've gotten two periods back to back with no help, no help, but this extra, so this, I don't want to call it an herb or a drug or anything. It's, it's just like a, it used to be a part of, I think, vitamin B family, but it's not. And basically the research says that people with, or women that have PCOS, um, use so much of this that it doesn't actually get used. I don't know. I, I'll have to do a whole video on it separately, but, um, I honestly think it's working. So I stopped taking the metformin because I was so freaking violently ill from it couldn't even function at all. So I just stopped it. And, um, so we'll see. I upped my dose on this other stuff to kind of like, cause I'm still taking it once a day and then with the, you know, whatever. So, um, and I was only on 500 milligrams of metformin. I never even got up to the thousand cause I was so ill. Oh my God. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. I did every trick in the book not to have the issues that come with it, but nothing worked. Um, I don't know what else to update you guys on. Um, I really, I'm trying to convince my husband to, you know, we, we got rid of cable and we started, we watch YouTube all the time. It's pretty much all we watch when I get home or when we're home, if there's like nothing on like Hulu or whatever. But, um, you know, he's started to get into like daily vlogging. Cause I watch a lot of daily vlogging channels. I watch like Katie and Cullen and I watch Ellie and Jared and there's a whole bunch of them. Um, 
and it's just kind of become our TV show um, because we don't have cable and it's fun to watch families that are in the similar situation as us um, so I want I'm like we should really daily vlog I'm like it would be fun he's not 100% on board and I really need to get back on this channel and give you guys some more content and redo stuff and I wanted it to kind of be my summer baby and you know here we are almost in July and I haven't really done anything yet um but I miss you guys and there goes a big trap going by it's gonna make tons of noise and wake my babies up um so I miss you guys um there's some amazing, fantastic news on YouTube. Um, some of the ladies that I've watched forever have gotten pregnant naturally, which is amazing. Um, actually, like a lot of you. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. So um, I still watch all of you guys. If you come up in my feed, I watch you. And um, and if you're still watching this 16 minutes into it, thank you. And um uh, I hope you have a fantastic day and hopefully I'll be on here soon. Um, but the babies are fantastic. If you want to follow me, you can find me on Instagram. Um, I still have my other Facebook page, but never really use it. But, um, you know, just I'll see ya. Um, it was really good talking to you and hopefully I'll be back soon and, um, good luck with everyone who's still trying, who has some wonderful babies, um, who's pregnant. Um, and if you're not, don't give up because I'm so happy I never gave up because now I have two, a boy and a girl, very healthy 20 month old twins. So don't ever, for, ever, ever, for, ever give up. Um, cause when it's your time, it's your time. So I'll see you guys soon.